happy Christmas, everybody. So my festive treat for you, and I do hope it's not too macabre um, for the festive season, uh, is a quick talk about an amazing and rare Roman casket burial, which we found during excavations a few years ago at a site in Toaster in Northamptonshire. Um, so Toaster was one of the earliest very big digs we did from our Milton Keynes office back in 2013, uh, where we excavated a site as part of a major regeneration project in the Moat Lane area of Toaster. I'll come on to the burial itself in a moment, but just to give the find some context, uh, Toaster was a small town in the Roman period, um, so not a sort of major urban site, but um, quite an important local centre on the on the road network. And its Roman name was Lactodorum. It was uh, situated on the important Roman road of Watling Street, uh, which uh, follows the um, largely followed the course of the modern A5, which ran between Dover via London up to Roxeter in the West Midlands. Our excavations produced a range of evidence from across the Roman period, um, and some of the key things that we found were, were parts of property boundaries, which were probably parts of yards attached to buildings which lined the Roman streets. Um, we found evidence for construction of the town defences in the 2nd to 3rd centuries AD, uh, along with some elements of buildings, including parts of a, of a cellar associated with one of the buildings. And we found a huge range of archaeological material, um, including lots of uh, pottery, animal bones, uh, assemblage of charred plant remains, and many, many artefacts, including this amazing fragment from a figurine of Venus um, and quite a few human burials. And it's one of these burials that I want to focus on here. So one of the features we excavated was a pit and in it, were the remains of a wooden box or a casket. No traces of wood survived from the box, but we were able to identify it from uh, a group of iron L-shaped brackets and part of what was probably a, a hinge also of iron. And you, you can get an idea as to what the box might have looked like from uh, this reconstruction uh, from a similar sort of casket um, found in a second century burial at Broome in Cumbria. Within the box were three pottery vessels dating from the mid to late second century AD. Uh, one of these was a flagon, so a drinking vessel. Uh, one was a Samian ware bowl from Gaul, and the other was a jar. And this jar contained uh, some fragments of cremated human bone. So we took the jar um, containing the bone back to our finds lab, and it was excavated there very carefully in spits, so in layers. And we were able to tell from the remains that the person buried within the casket, um, within the jar, within the casket, was certainly an adult uh, and was possibly a male. And we also found within, within the jar pieces of wood charcoal, um, which were probably part of a cremation pyre. Um, and most of them were oak, um, so great big chunky bits of wood originally. Um, but other types of wood, including maple and hazel and ash, perhaps formed um, poles associated with part of a funerary bier on, on which the, the deceased lay. Now, really interestingly, alongside the human bone, we also found parts of two different chickens and the sternum, so the sort of chest part of a, of a woodcock, which is a type of game bird. And we also found charred plant remains, which included uh, grains of wheat, uh, and these possibly uh, were thrown onto the funeral pyre or were, were, were part of a baked good, such as bread or something that was include, included um, on the funeral pyre or some other sort of, sort of dish. Um, so this gives us an insight into how important food was during these types of Romano-British funerals. OK, so, you know, food may have been included as offerings placed onto the funeral pyre. But you can also imagine that, you know, during during a funeral, um, mourners were gathering and perhaps sharing ritual feasting, and they may have been casting things onto the funeral uh, pyre, you know, morsels of food you know, as offerings, you know, as a last ritual feast with, with, with the dead. After the pyre had cooled, uh, some of the bone was gathered and placed within the jar for burial, uh, and then placed within the casket, and two other vessels were then included. So one was a bowl, uh, and the other was a flagon. And they probably also contained offerings of food and drink to accompany um, the remains of the dead. Now, it's worth pointing out that the weight of the human bone within the jar 
It was less than 400 grams, and that is far less than you would expect from a full adult, okay? And this is actually a really very common aspect of Romano-British cremation burials. You often don't get that much cremated bone. Um, the reason isn't exactly clear, um, but it might suggest that often burials didn't contain the, the, the whole person because perhaps people were gathering ashes and they were being dispersed between different loved ones who were burying them in different ways or were otherwise discarding them um, in archaeologically invisible ways. Um, so perhaps they were being scattered. So one of the things that's really interesting about this burial is that while cremation is a, is a very common burial rite during the second century um, in some parts of Roman Britain, not everywhere, but um, in a lot of places it is, um, especially in towns and at Roman military sites. Even so, these types of casket burials are really quite rare, um, especially out, outside military sites. Now, where they do occur, they're really quite regionally restricted. Um, so this map shows examples recorded from Roman rural sites, so not from towns or from, from, from military sites. But you can see that there is a very clear concentration um, in this distribution within the South Midlands and, and the South. So our to toaster individual fits within this pattern and, and they're being buried in what appears to be part of what is a regionally very distinctive burial rite, but nevertheless still something which is a minority rite within, within this region. Not everyone is, is, is adopting this. Now again, you know, grave goods, uh, which we have here, obviously, we have additional things being placed within the casket alongside the, um, the, 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 the cremation urn. Um, these are an exception rather than the, than the rule uh, within Roman burials. Um, so the inclusion of these other offerings, so what it, probably food and drink within a, within a bowl and a flagon in the casket, they mark this adult out, um, who was probably a man or, or possibly a man, um, they mark him out as an individual of some distinction. But at the moment, it's very difficult for us to say much more about about them. Um, but still, you know, that is quite an amazing amount of information we've we've got from our from our box. On that happy note, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for listening to me. I'd like to to end by wishing you all a very Merry Christmas.